Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another Java video. So this is the first video of um, 2021. Hopefully this will be a better year for everybody with vaccines and everything. So meanwhile, stay safe and uh, relax and let's um, take a look on this video. So today I want to talk more um, <clears throat> about security and how we can secure um, a Spring Boot application and what we're going to be doing is enabling uh, TLS, right? So I will show you guys how you can have a, a dummy certificate in order to, um, you know, to, to have a certificate in our, our server. Um, and then um, we're going to see some redirect going on with uh, TLS. Um, of course, uh, in production, you should have like a a proper uh, certificated sign it you know with a proper certificated uh, chain either with a, uh, a vendor or um, you know uh, AWS has a PCA PCM which is our uh, interesting services but um, you know there's also the la let's encrypt movement you know there's several ways uh, you can get a nice uh, certificate um, so um, let's uh, get started right um, so, um, I will share my screen. I have a very simple um, idea project and uh, we can start from there and see how uh, it goes, right? So, let me share my screen. Um, so, let me show this uh, idea project I made. So, first of all, um, here I have two scripts. I have one bash script uh, in order to um, generate the certificates, which I kind of uh, generated already. Um, and I have another uh, script so we can see the certificate. So uh, in your case, first thing uh, you will need to generate the certificate. Of course, if you get my, my code on GitHub, I'm bundled the certificate, so you don't need to deal with that anyway, right? But um, um, that's how uh, we roll here. Um, I run this in, on Ubuntu, right? So you might need to have the open SSL proper um, SSL libraries in place in order this to work. So um, this first script is to generate the certificate. So basically we are calling key tool um, and we are generating um, this alias called self-signed localhost SL server. This could be anything like a my Spring Boot to POC or uh, my microservice or whatever name you want. Um, and then here I'm saying that I want to store this in uh, SSL server.jks in my resources folder. Um, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm doing here. Um, and also the password is uh, change it, right? Um, then um, once you run that, you're going to have the certificate there. Um, I have a second script and this script I basically um, can view the certificate, right? So I have this um, view certificate script and here I've just used key tool uh, and I have the list uh, key store um, um, parameters minus list minus key store and I point where my JKS file is, right? Um, for several people, this is kind of a terrifying, but actually, uh, this is really straightforward. It's not hard at all. Um, so, um, let's um, run uh, this script and then we can see what's going on here. So, it's asking me uh, the password, which is change it. I'm just going to paste it, which I copied before. And then we can see uh, there is one entry is a JKS file, um, and that's really um all we care and all we, what we need to do we can see some fingerprint here um all right but um we can see the private key entry right okay so now i have my poc so let me open an idea and then we can look the code and then we can see this uh, happening uh on the browser as well so i'm just opening my idea here um and now i have a very standard uh, Spring Boot application, as you guys uh, can see, like for instance, I have like uh, my application uh, bootstrapping um, class where I have a 
Spring Boot application, enable auto configuration, component scan, all the standard Spring Boot things. Um, here uh, I have like the a Bing just saying that the app is good uh, up and running. Um, so no, no, really no difference here. And I also have a controller where you can see I have an index um, operation. So if I hit slash, I'm gonna get a greeting, right? Um, but uh, th this is all standard Spring Boot. In sense of um, dependencies, as we can take a look here, this is also all standard. I'm using 241. Um, there, there's a starter web, actuator, um, and no really no, nothing fancy here like the, the standard. So what we need um, in order to configure uh, the TOS and the certificate here are three things. So first, um, we need to have the certificate which we generated uh, before. This is the JKS um, file, as you can see. Uh, and then we need a property file and we also need uh, a configuration class. So let's take a look on the property file. So in application.properties, uh, which is a standard Spring Boot config, uh, here we say in the port that we wanna do, uh, 8443, um, the alias of the um, certificate, right, the password, um, the um, where um, the um, where the JKS file is. In my case, it is on my class path, right? Just looking for this folder, uh, this file here, SSL server.jks, which is right here, um, and then in the provider, the type, right? So uh, this config is one thing we need to do, and the other thing um, you need a bin uh, with some sort of a configuration, right? So it's a configuration bin. Uh, and then here you just say, um, this is a, 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 a servlet web server factory. Um, um, and uh, you need to override this uh, post uh, process context operation. Um, and here what we're doing is we're setting a security constraint saying this is confidential and we're adding the pattern slash uh, asterisk. It means we are uh, saying that all uh, URL on, on our server, uh, on a REST service, uh, will be protected by TOS and HPS. If we want just protect some specific operations or let some other, um, you know, resources out of that, we could, um, you know, work with a different pattern. But here, uh, we are protecting pretty much um, everything, all right? And then, um, basically, uh, you know, we, we instantiate an override uh, doing this uh, inner class override here of the Tomcat server webs uh, server factory. And then um, we just add um, a connectors, right? Which is this redirect uh, connector, which is uh, this method here where um, we creating the default connector and we send this HTTP and we say, okay, so for the port 880, um, you know, it's not secure and I want you to redirect to 8443. And, and in this case, uh, we are not serving, um, you know, anything without HPS and we, we are not doing anything on the port 880. Everything gonna be redirected to a secure port, right? And, and that's really all. So now um, let's run um, this application here and we can see what happens uh, on the browser. So uh, here we go, running uh, the application. As you can see here, uh, I'm using the default web starter, so I get Tomcat 9. Um, and um, on, on the porter, on the ports, you can see that the first port is actually 84, um, 43, and then 880. But as you see, we are redirecting, so we're not allowing 880, but um, 84, 43 appears as the first port. Um, and then um, we can go to the browser, right, and check that uh, URL pretty much. So if I go here um, and try to hit there, um, I, I see it's not secure because I self-signed my certificate, right? But if I proceed, um, we can see my index, we can see that the application is, is working. So one thing we could try to do is just hit 880 to see what happens, right? And once we try to do that, we can see that, um, um, you know, that, uh, sorry, uh, let me put it here. So, uh, HTTP localhost 880, right? And when I try to do that, 
I actually get redirected all right to my 8443 exactly uh, like we expected right and uh, that's it that's how we can easily uh, secure um, Tomcat and uh, Spring Boot right with a TLS with a certificate so I hope you guys like it see you next time cheers